My name's Josh and this is Nathan. We're here to talk about the new men's group at Calvary called Watchmen of the Holy Cross. And the second meeting of the uh, group is coming up on Friday, April 11th at 7 p.m. And it's just a time of fellowship. Jake will give a blessed little thought and we'll have some food and some drinks and just spend time getting to know each other and the men of the church. Right, so again, the next time we're meeting is Friday, April 11th at seven o'clock. For more information, go to the church website and look under ministries. The most holy week in Christendom is quickly approaching, and it begins April 13th with Palm Sunday. We're gonna begin at 9 a.m. on the steps of St. George's uh, for the procession of palms, and then at 1045 in Gramercy Park for a procession of palms. And then at 6 p.m. we'll begin right on the dot at 6 p.m. with the Liturgy of the Palms as well. The next important day in Holy Week is Maundy Thursday, which is April 17th. At 7 p.m. at St. George's, we're going to reflect upon the institution of the Lord's Supper. Immediately following that service, we're going to process from St. George's to Calvary Church, where we're going to have a night watch. And I'd encourage you, if you haven't done so, to sign up for one hour to pray, building up to Good Friday. We're going to have two services April 18th, one at noon and one at 6 p.m. here at Calvary Church. You won't want to miss this very powerful and moving service. On April 19th, traditionally, there is a, what's called a Holy Saturday service where we reflect upon Jesus in the tomb. It's a very small service at 10.30 on the morning on Holy Saturday. And then at 10.30 p.m., uh, we are going to have the Easter Vigil. This is a very powerful service as we uh, bring in the resurrection and reflect upon all of the Old Testament stories that point to Jesus' resurrection from the tomb, which culminates in the Eucharist that night. April 20th is Easter Sunday, the biggest day in the Christian year. This is where we as Christians celebrate the fact that Jesus Christ has risen from the dead and in his resurrection he has conquered death. We want to pack this church out. We want everybody to come. We want everybody to bring a friend in order to hear this great news. So join us, won't you? And bring about eight to 10 friends with you. And then you can go out to brunch afterwards. We promise they won't be bored, but we will experience God in his fullness. So you know youth group movie night that's coming up? You mean the youth group movie night that's happening on Friday, April 11th at 6 p.m. in Anderson Hall? That's the one. I do know it. I came up with the perfect movie choice. Tell me about it. What is it? You have to guess. Okay. Um, is it a cartoon? Yes. Is it a Pixar film? Yep. Does it feature an old man and a little boy traveling to faraway lands? Yep. I'm stumped. No idea. Still nothing. New envelopes can be found in all of the pews and at the back of the church for memorial flower donation or general Lent Holy Week support. The deadline for memorial flower donations and names is Palm Sunday in order for them to appear in our Easter Bulletin. The week of April 7th will be the final week of our Lenten evening prayer services. Stop by one of these services Wednesday or Thursday at 5.30 p.m. The Sunday Forum, Faith Founded on Fact, concludes Sunday, April 6th at 12.30 p.m. in Anderson Hall.